Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to look at the Roy Pow 12 volt 30 amp lithium battery. And I'm going to tell you why I chose a lithium battery over the traditional lead acid battery and we'll go over some of the main advantages between the two, okay? First off, so what do I use these batteries for? Um, they are used for powering my kayak and I also use um, them to power my depth finder. So there are some differences between the two batteries, uh, the Roy Pow lithium versus the traditional um, lead acid battery. The main difference that I noticed right away is the weight difference. Uh, the Roy Pow is a 30 amp, this is a 35 amp. Now it's not much of a big difference, okay, with, with you know, with 5 amps, but um, the Roy Pow is under 9 pounds and the lead acid is uh, over 21 pounds, so that's a huge difference. That's the that's probably the main significant thing, and to me that's very important um, because the lighter weight of the Roy Pow lithium um, is going to save me a lot of uh, uh, weight on my kayak because in a kayak, as you all know, um, you're, you're very concerned about weight. So the weight reduction is great. It's a huge advantage over the lead acid battery. The other main difference um, is the uh, lead acid battery versus the lithium is the lead acid battery has about uh, probably 300 to 500 um, uh, recharge cycle and for a lithium battery um, it's going to go well over 2000. Um, this one claims to have over 3000 um, cycles so you have a huge huge um, difference there. Okay so let's open this uh, battery that I just got. Um, really nice when I lift it, when I got it inside my house, I was quite surprised how light they are compared to the, uh, lead acid. Okay, there we go. This is a brand new battery, never been used. Okay, and there is the carry handle. Uh, we'll put this back and we'll put this back. Take out the bag here, all right? So there it is. There is the battery. Um, again, uh, 30 amp hour, very light, less than nine pounds. It has MA screws, it look like. Uh, positive red, black is negative. All right, and for the carry handle, um, it goes into this groove here. Actually, this way first, and then I believe you just pull it this way, yep. And then here, same thing. Put it in and then pull it up this side. Okay, there it is. Yeah, it's very small, very compact, very light. It's got a nice, easy carry handle. Now, 30 amp hour is a little small. I normally like to have like 100 amp hour, um, but I'm still going to put it on my kayak and I'll do that in a separate video. I'll uh, hook it up to my kayak and use it and just see how long it lasts. Uh, before I do that, obviously I'm going to charge it to its full capacity. And speaking of uh, charging, um, the for the charging time, uh, the lead acid versus lithium, the lithium is going to charge a lot faster. And I'll put up a little uh, diagram here that I made. Um, it shows the discharge rate uh, for the lead acid versus the uh, Roy Pow uh, lithium battery. And as you can see, the lithium has a significant advantage when it comes to discharge rate. Uh, the lithium will keep on discharging. The lithium has a high output until towards the end of its uh, battery capacity. Whereas the lead acid, as you can see, it, um, the curve just drops right away. So big advantage for the Roy Pow lithium battery. Also for the lithium, once it's charged, you can take it off the charger. You don't need to keep it on a float charge. And I'll say it again, uh, the lithium provides the same amount of power throughout its discharge cycle. Whereas a lead acid starts out strong, but it dissipates very quickly. So the constant power supply of lithium is uh, much better than that of lead acid. This means that the lithium battery, like the Roy Pow here, keeps discharging power until it's nearly out. I also want to mention that if you're going to charge a lithium battery, make sure you use a charger that's specific for lithium battery. Um, try not to use like a lead acid battery charger to charge a lithium battery. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this quick review about the Roy Pow 12 volt 30 amp lithium battery. 
If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I will try my best to answer them. In a separate video, I'm going to hook this up to my kayak and just run it and just see how long it lasts. So stay tuned for that video. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Have fun fishing. Tight lines.